Hey, and welcome to my channel. My name is Melanie, and welcome to Mellow's Well Budget. Um, here on my channel, I am a newbie cash stuffer and envelope stuffer. Uh, today, we're going to be uh, working on our last check for January. Um, so I already um, went ahead and used my log to put down all of my expenses, fixed, variable, some of my saving challenges, uh, cash envelope stuffing, sinking funds, and bills. Uh, most of my bills are taken automatically, so we're only working with cash for things that we go ahead and stuff in the envelope. If you are interested in this sort of content, uh, be sure to subscribe, like this video before you have to like run off and uh, stay tuned. Okay, so moving on, we're going to go ahead and start with stuffing our um, sinking funds. So I love stuffing the sinking funds. I love seeing how my goals are just getting closer and closer to being achieved. And um, yeah, so this is my green binder. First, we're going to go ahead and start off with school debt. As you know, I have to start repaying that in May. So I'm kind of trying to get this really thick um, until then. Again, this does not include payments I've made in the past. So we're going to go ahead and do 150. Fifty. All right, so let's just double count that. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 40, 50. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and organize the bills, which makes it easy because I was just throwing it right on top. And this is what we have so far. Um, 100, 150, 200, 220, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80, 4, 4, 10, okay? So that is what we have. I am not keeping a log. I'm not sure um, if you didn't watch my last video, I went ahead and explained how I'm not keeping a log for this um, envelope per se, um, because I want to get it nice and thick and then just count it all when May approaches. And if I have any extra money, I'm more than happy to go ahead and stuff it here. Uh, so no log on this one. Now, um, moving on to house. These are pre-made labels, as I've explained in the past videos. So um, this is really for an apartment. And this one is nice and thick. Uh, not sure if you could really tell on camera, but the singles are really filling up this, <laughs> this uh, envelope. And um, so on this log, I actually have to take off $20. Um, And the reason being is because I actually went ahead and bought something. Um, so I had to use this for something else. Um, I'll just put item. Not really sure what I would put there. And then this should total out to 1,082, which is still amazing. Um, and then in-house, I'm not going to go ahead and put anything. I actually am waiting for a refund. I had um, a few refunds um, that had to be issued to me from the bank, so which is great. So I'm slowly, as they're coming in, I'm adding them to this total. Also, there was such a huge difference from the last time I stuffed, which was on... I believe it was the 19th when I made my last video. So I actually added $900, which is huge and amazing. Um, I have another side business and I was able to save that much. So I went ahead and added it all together to this. So here we should have $1,082. Um, I will keep you updated maybe later in this video if there is anything added to this amount. Uh, so right now we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, a thousand, twenty, um, <laughs> uh, thirty, thirty five, forty, forty five, fifty, fifty five, sixty, sixty five. So a thousand sixty five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's seventy five. One, two, three, four, five. That's eighty. One, two, a thousand eighty two. Okay.
So I said that I will go ahead and add any edits uh, to this part or any additional money because of the refund if there was any adjustments and there were. Um, I had to add $63, which I have right here. So we'll go ahead and add this to the total and um it ends up coming out to a thousand one hundred and forty five dollars in this envelope um so in total i received a hundred and ninety one dollar refund from the bank which is amazing so let's just go ahead and add this in here organizing the bills a bit and 63 so now like i said we have a total of a thousand one hundred and forty five dollars towards house or apartment um and then so i do have a label for this one but i'm facing it this way so there's not a lot of pressure to know how much is in there um so because i had this refund i wasn't too worried about putting any money from my own paycheck into this sinking fund a sinking fund is basically setting aside money over a period of time to meet a certain goal. Um, so now moving on to health, um, we're going to go ahead and put $23. And then I did deduct from the last video, um, from the last pay, I did deduct $78. I had an eye doctor appointment. So that is what this folder is meant for. If I need it, I will take out money for co-pays, medical bills, um, even prescriptions, things like that. So I do have $8 left over and we're going to go ahead and add $23, um, which will give us $31. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the rest of this okay so now we should have 31 dollars in um in this envelope so i have let me just organize so i have 20 25 26 7 8 9 10 30 okay sorry i think i did that wrong one two three four, six. sorry so six five eleven plus twenty thirty one so sorry. It's being all confusing and whatnot. Okay, moving on to gifts. I was extremely productive with this category last um, within the last two weeks. Okay, so we spent quite a lot of the money that we had accumulated here. So we originally had $112 and now we're down to $10. Um, February is pretty packed and busy with uh, birthdays and especially Valentine's Day. I love to get my family uh, like little gifts. It was a tradition that they started when I was a kid. They would get like mug or chocolates, things like that. So I kind of want to continue that tradition. So I was able to find very inexpensive and affordable gifts that were tailored to my budget without going out of the budget. Now it is pretty low from 112 to 10 dollars but we still stayed within the budget and i am very happy and proud of myself that i was able to buy things uh on a small budget so for christmas i'm sorry for gifts and birthdays this pay it's gonna get 15. so now we have an amazing 25 dollars and again, we're just building this up again. And I'm going to put this here. So we went like last weekend and this weekend uh, and bought some gifts. I'm also super excited to announce that, not announce, but share. Um, since I started this, I have shared that I started this like mid Jan mid December. Um, but this is like the third time that I'm actually stuffing these envelopes and what a change and a difference I have seen in my money spending habits and just in minor things. I'm super proud of myself because I stuck extremely tight to the budget, to the, the amount that I set. I did not order out or spend money on takeout, delivery, nothing like that. Not even a delicious cup of 
Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Um, I did nothing of that sort. So I am really proud of myself. Pops for me. Because, like I said, I didn't spend any money. And that is huge for me. I got into a very bad habit of not meal prepping, ordering out, spending nearly $40, even more sometimes, on food for the day. Breakfast, lunch, and sometimes dinner or however it works out. It adds up and all that money is coming right into these savings. So let's just move on to the next one. I did want to share that because those are just tiny victories that must be um, made aware, um, must be shared, and that progress is possible. So I did want to um, go ahead and share that good news. Uh, for Christmas, we're keeping it low this, um, this pay. And the only reason being is that Although I did a great job with not spending money on takeout or delivery or an amazing coffee, um, I did realize that I went a little bit under my budget for unexpected bills that I completely forgot fell on a certain time frame that I thought I had enough time to um, pay for them with this paycheck. And it just didn't happen that way. So I actually created another... Um, another category in my book here and i'm actually going to title it buffer i'm always going to leave a little bit of money um for some wiggle room until i do pay off debt and my loans um and kind of see like that the, the loans diminish a bit because you never know what's going to happen and i was proud of myself for the progress i made but i also was disappointed because I forgot to plan for those bills that were gonna be taken automatically from my account. So I was a little thrown off. Um, so we are adding $8 to Christmas, getting back into this. So I wanna show you what I'm doing because I, I have numbers, I don't really write anything out. So for Christmas, so for my uh, gifts, gifts and birthdays, Christmas and health, I'm almost following this, like, I hope to get a 1K in each of the three envelopes. So I have gifts and birthdays, Christmas, and then um, emergency. So what I'm actually doing is this randomizer. I open up Google, put random number generator, and I found this uh, cool chart. And I basically pick a random number and I am forcing myself to, to save that amount for the given week that I'm um, putting that money aside. Um, and then the number was number four. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I mean by that. So in this category, we have 20, 40, 60, 80. Um, sorry. <laughs> I didn't even take the money. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, right, so we have $8 that we added from for Christmas. And currently we have $70, so that makes 78. Easy counting for this one. And this is the tracker that I'm going to show you that I'm um, working on. So this is a perfect um, layout. So this is for the health savings and it's a 52 week. I get paid bi-weekly. So I am following how I get paid bi-weekly. So I look up on Google. Um, random number generator one to 52 because it is 52 weeks um and because i get paid bi-weekly bi i typically try and fill up two of these numbers so for health this week we filled in number four and number 10 so that totals to 23 dollars so the goal is by as soon as you can but typically by the end of the year you will have saved a thousand dollars so i'm trying to fill in all these boxes um of course with health um, in general, there's going to be co-pays and things like that, but this is still a goal that is going to be ongoing that if I do have extra money left over, I will put it into this fund. So that is the track. Moving on, we have vacation. Um, I did mention that I might be going on a small little vacation or maybe a little getaway and I'm just putting a little money here and there away. So for this week, it's going to get... $15. I kind of was getting the $15 and I got a really low pay the last time. So I wasn't able to. Um, so I'm actually going to take a 20, put it here and then put a five back. 
So we have $50 now. Okay, and that finishes the sinking funds. Um, and then on to the next binder. So instead of moving on to cash envelopes, I actually want to talk more about some saving challenges that I'm doing since I already showed you that tracker. Um, so I actually picked up this adorable um, uh, like cookie jar kind of thing, but I'm actually going to use it for coins. So I have some coins here from what I had from the last pay. Whoa. And I'm going to just go ahead and drop these in here. Gently. Okay. And then hopefully we fill this up. I think it's a cute way to see what we have. And it's just so adorable. It's my gnome. I know it's very Valentine's Day, but I really thought it was super cute. And it was in the dollar section at um, Target. And it's actually not as big. <laughs> So moving on, obviously I plan on keeping my coins as well as if I do have some singles, I will go ahead and put those aside as well in another envelope. Uh, my coworkers and I are also participating in a $20 uh, challenge. So I'm going to actually take out $40. Um, so that completes the first, um, the first, um, week or first two weeks for this challenge and i'm just going to actually put that in one of these binders so the next one is um like dates so i went ahead and showed that challenge that i'm doing so for this um month we're going to finish it off and do 31 dollars and I'm gonna actually put that in one of my other envelopes. And then we also are doing um, emergency savings. So here is another uh, challenge I'm working on. Again, using a random number generator or as much as you can put, we're going to put $35 in this um, account. Okay, so I'm going to be putting $35 and then I'm also doing the 100 envelope. I'm also doing the 100 envelope challenge, which is here. These are all the envelopes that are not completed and these are the ones that are completed. Uh, so I will take some uh, funds and fill this as well. Okay, and moving on to the cash envelopes, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out uh, some of the funds that I had that I need to go ahead and um, pull aside for some bills and things like that for this pay. Hey, so I went had to go ahead and actually add this clip into the video as an edit because I realized I didn't record the cash envelopes. Uh, so most of the cash envelopes, the things that I normally stuffed, I actually, went ahead and spent it before i actually did the cash stuffing still within the budget but i wanted to show it to you on this log instead okay so this is the part that i wanted to show you and i actually used a pencil uh because i was still playing around with the budget as you can see i put 150 then i scratched it out for 75. so for the video i went over the sinking funds as well as my challenges and the cash envelopes so thank you so much for sticking uh through this video um thank you so much for your support be sure to subscribe like this video and comment i really appreciate your support god bless and we'll see you next time Bye.